My name is Manning Sweatland. I'm the president and founder of Emergency Operations Proving Grounds, and I'm also a full-time police officer. EOPG, first of all, stands for Emergency Operations Proving Grounds. EOPG was created to be able to train police, fire, EMS, and 911 dispatchers all together. And when I say train all together, it means that any priority one call, if you train for it appropriately before the actual call comes up, we are going to work much better in unison in a much shorter time frame to actually save lives. If a student or a police officer comes out to EOPG, there's a, there's a ton of classes that we're, we're able to put on for them, from basic pistol courses, advanced pistol courses, master pistol courses, the same for rifle carbine courses. Uh, we have master snipers that are able to, to teach basic snipers how to get better and advance better for shooting. Anytime you have a better shooter, it's, it's better for the community. We would do felony traffic stops, and we're gonna train them. Another tool for the tool bag for them to use. I suggest people get training from all areas and use what's best for their department. And we have a lot of different ways that we can do just even just a felony traffic stop. So the facility right now, we are in phase one of a five, five phase project. Phase one includes a 3,600 acre firing range right now. We have one classroom there. We have a classroom here at Richards Ranch. We also have the old county hospital that was just deeded to us. This is over a 25,000 foot a square foot building that we're going to utilize for tactical training. We'll be using green gas style weapons or simulation weapons where we can do several classes there as well. The instructors that I have now are all very experienced from either SWAT backgrounds, military backgrounds, and special forces backgrounds where they learned so much knowledge and they all work together as a team in a big think tank. And when you have that many professionals in one think tank, uh, you're able to create a, a learning objective that's more real life based. If we can prove that this training is going to shorten the time from an assailant is doing something bad to a group of people to a time an emergency responder res, uh, responds and takes out that threat, that's the curriculum that we will teach. 